In a previous video, we took the Hack RF and got the Porta Pack working. Today, we're going to flash that with a new firmware called Project Mayhem and test it out, receiving some aircraft and even some ships. To get started with the Project Mayhem firmware, you have to go to their GitHub repo and download the files. The install is super simple and they've given really extensive installation instructions on the Git repo. Just take your time and read through them. Although there's nothing to it, it's important to understand what you're installing on your hardware. Unzipping the files and installing the firmware was no problem on my machine. Simply opened and it programmed. No questions asked, nothing to it. This episode brought to you in part by PCBWay. Check them out at the link below for your next electronics project. They offer competitive rates for all PCBs, parts and assembly as well as 24-7 tracking of your order from start to finish. There are far too many options within this firmware to go through them all today, so we'll focus on playing with some AIS and some ADSB for aircraft. And here you can see I'm already receiving an aircraft, DAL 3060, above my location, pretty much nearly straight above me. Not too many aircraft these days uh, with COVID, not a lot of travelers, but sure enough, I'm able to receive the aircraft from the transponder and the Porta Pack allows me to plot it on a map. Map. Really, really cool. So poor man's ATC works just fine. Next up, I wanted to try receiving AIS. Now this is the same as ADS-B basically, except for boats, so in two dimensions. Uh, sitting here in my backyard, I'm not too far from Lake Huron, and sure enough, I was able to get a hit right away. And I've never been able to successfully do this with my other uh, RTL SDR dongles. Mind you, I haven't put a lot of effort into it, but this just makes it super simple with the map and everything all at once. It just works. A short time later, I came back outside and tried again, and this time I got three different hits. One with the name of the Cape Discovery and two unidentified ones. But they came through just fine, and they show that they're located in the harbor not far from me. And I thought, well, might as well see if we can go see them quick visit to a website on my phone and I could get the locations as well showing that these boats are in the harbor. Well, that's cool and all to do it from the internet, but so much more fun to do it with the Hack RF and receive the signals direct from the air. But I still wanted to go lay my eyes on these. And sure enough, here's the Cape Discovery moored right at the Coast Guard station at the harbor. Yep. It's there. Not active, these boats. There's no one seemingly around in the in the Cape Discovery or the Tug. The Lake Freighter, sure enough, the Equinox here, It's it's got some people running around and doing some work. It's an Algoma boat in to get salt. Uh, right here is the largest salt mine in the world, I believe, currently. The Sifto Domtar, whatever its current owner is, I'm not sure, but... And there's our tugs in the background there. Sure enough, everything worked just fine. Pretty cool that I was able to receive these right from my house, which is about 300 feet or so in elevation change thereabouts. And yeah, worked just fine. So if you'd like to play with the Hack RF as a standalone with this touchscreen porta pack, well, I highly advise you to give the Project Mayhem firmware a try. It's so much easier than the stock firmware, and there's so many more options we haven't even touched on any yet. Cheers, guys. Good luck in all your projects.